What is going on, my beautiful people? How you are doing? I hope you are having an amazing day. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at how you can install Auction OS from OnePlus 7 Pro onto your Redmi Note 7 Pro. So we are completely making our Redmi Note into a complete OnePlus 7 Pro. And then again, this probably would be the second most requested video on this channel. Like literally, Redmi Note 4 Auction OS video was like so toxic on this comment sections of my videos. Cause those who didn't even have a Redmi Note 4 would actually ask for Auction OS for it. But guys, you have to actually understand that developers don't actually get paid for it and then again i can't actually support all of the devices so you have to actually wait for these bugs to be fixed now there is literally only one bug which is just annoying which would be the brightness slider now the brightness just doesn't go all the way i did actually try to fix it myself with some another developers files but that just did go well the brightness just kept on sticking to the 100 percent and then again it's not actually that bad as you can see i'm like almost on 90 percent right now and you can actually see the camera easily that's why you can tell it's not that bright but it still doesn't like literally annoy in the bright daylight it's still enough but not the best so again taking a look throughout this room i have actually reviewed this like last month when it was a oneplus 6 base but now we have a oneplus 7 pro base so you are getting literally the latest and the greatest of auction os so just going through the apps again as you can see the performance is on par that just literally took no time at all as you can see messages app settings the apps just take no time at all even the third party apps look at the speed of it then again, just going through another apps, even like the Chrome and stuff, they just don't take any kind of time. Now, I even have a OnePlus 6 over here running a OnePlus 7 Pro port. Again, the Wi-Fi and everything just works fine, like even the Volti. So again, just taking a look at the performance, just clearing out both of those phones. Phone app, literally the same. Messages, same. Then again, settings app, same. But then again, just taking a look out through more apps. Again, you have camera app. Now, this is the camera app from 60, not the 7 cords. From the 7, it just doesn't work that great. And then again, it's quite actually stable. Like, you can actually use this camera app. Unlike another Redmi Notes where it's just a dud. Again, you can go to the video. You can actually record 4K over here. 4K recording just works fine. Again, you can only record till 10 minutes. So again, going through more modes, you have pro mode, slow motion and stuff. Slow motion for sure doesn't work. Then again, you can just test it. Okay, you can record the video right over here. Then again, let's just test it. Oh, wow. The slow-mo does actually work. So again, you have a completely working OnePlus camera over here. That's like, actually, I'm surprised that it's working. But then again, support for latest Gcam is also available over here. So for example, this is the Pixel Gcam, the latest one. So if you go to the more, you have time-lapse, photo booth, slow motion and stuff. And it doesn't even lag. So again, if you go to the time-lapse, it just completely works. As you can see, there is a bit of a lag in the preview. But the final product is just amazing. There is no lag and stuff. It just works fine. Again, you have full HDR support and stuff, which is pretty great. Then again, going through more stuff, as this is a pretty devoted ROM, you don't actually get the screen recorder and Zen mode. Now, as this is stable build, you can't even like install it separately, like a app or just push it through the system. It just doesn't work. So again, if you want the screen record, you have to actually wait for a stable or a beta ROM from another device for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. But for example, right now, there is no Zen mode. There is even no screen record. But again, this is your shelf, as you can see. Now, the scrolling is, I mean, most of you guys will actually love it because Redmi Note 7 Pro does actually have a scrolling issue because of the weird touch screens that Xiaomi is now using to save cost. But then again, the scrolling over here is just amazing. As you can see, pretty much follows my finger. But then again, in some of the apps like in Instagram, if I just go to my feed, if it just goddamn loads, wow, that actually connected pretty fast. Now again, the vibrations over here are like literally you might think the phone is about to explode. You can't actually control the vibration of the phone. I mean, everything just works fine, like the speaker, the headset, like OnePlus 7 Pro doesn't actually have a headset. So you do actually have that working over here, but the scrolling over here might actually just get annoyed. Again, guys, just follow me on Instagram if you want to keep yourself updated with everything. Redmi Note 7 Pro, like I've been posting everything since like last night about this build. But then again, the scrolling might actually get annoyed, like it's just too fast. It does actually look good on 98's display, but for us, it's just too much. Then again, going through gallery and stuff, you do get a much more better editor app than previously that I showed you guys. As you can see, you have filter, edges and stuff, pretty much just all the normal stuff. Then again, let's just hop on to the settings. So again, going through the settings, you have pretty much all the stuff as before. If you go to the display, you have ambient display, which is, I guess, broken. Like we have a LCD panel, we don't need it. Again, video enhancer doesn't seem to be working, at least on the YouTube. I don't actually know whether it works on the stock gallery app. 
then again you have screen refresh rate which um, i don't recommend touching at all because it just doesn't do anything then again screen calibration trading mode pretty much normal stuff even if you go to the resolution if you switch it to the quad hd it will actually switch it sometimes but as the overlays have been completely removed it's just of no use but full hd plus does actually give you optimal ui experience then again scrolling down you have theme in wallpapers you have all the live wallpapers from the oneplus 7 pro as you can see they do really look very beautiful you also have the stills from the oneplus 7 look pretty great if you go to the sound and vibrations, there is no actually just a way to make your vibrations much lesser annoying. Like if you just go to the notifications, if you switch it to light, it just doesn't do anything. It's always on strong. That's one of the issues. Then again, if you go to the Dolby Atmos, the Dolby Atmos is completely disabled over here. That's actually pretty good because if it's enabled, your speakers will literally fart. So again, this is completely removed. If you want to use any kind of another app like Direct HD or Dolby Atmos, you are welcome. Again, the speakers do actually work great. Also, the headset just works fine. Then again, going back, security, lock screen. If you go to the security, you have fingerprint scanner completely working. Like you can go to the lock screen, as you can see, see it's locked. You can actually play with the animation over here, as you can see, it doesn't do anything. You have to just tap it and it just works great. Like look at the speed of it. Three, two, one, there you go. Now the only drawback over here is, it doesn't actually work when the screen is locked. It's just dead because OnePlus 7 Pro has a in-screen one which is always active. So you have to actually wake the phone in order to unlock. Then again, if you install Google Trusted Face, you do get a face unlock via Smart Lock. Just don't touch the face unlock over here. It might cause issues. Then again, going through the utilities, if you go to the gaming mode, you have an all new gaming mode which also has fanatic mode. Now, I don't have a huge idea on it, but seriously gives you more network enhancement, process regulators, advanced DND. Like it completely locks you out of the real world. Sorry guys, if I'm just going too fast, but I have to actually cover a lot of stuff in this small video. Then again, disable automatic brightness, display game enhancement, which is actually pretty good. I don't actually think it actually works on ported ROMs, but if you have a like AMOLED display like OnePlus 6 and stuff, it actually brightens the shadows, which is really helpful in PUBG. Then we have quick launch, which is of no use. Then again, you have parallel apps, app locker, scheduled power on and off, which is pretty good. If you go to the OnePlus laboratory, you have DC dimming, which is of again, no use. We don't have an AMOLED panel. You have quick reply and landscape, which is pretty handy. So again, Instagram is supported over here. If I get any kind of message through Instagram, it will pop up as a window, not take up my whole screen. Again, a funny thing, if you go to the fingerprint and setup, you can actually play with the effects. Like literally just activated over here, looks very beautiful. Then again, going down, you have digital well-being implementation, which I'm not a huge fan of cause if you don't already know what digital well-being does. Then again, going through the system, you have RAM Boost, now officially announced over here, and it does actually work pretty great. If you have a 6GB RAM version of the Redmi Note 7 Pro, this is very handy. Then again, you have system updates, which are completely remote cause some of you gifted ones do actually update your phone, thinking that it has been just completely transformed into OnePlus, but thankfully it has been removed. Going to the about phone section, it does actually show 60 over there, but trust me, this is a OnePlus 7 Pro base. Then again, Auction OS 9.5.3, the latest and the greatest. Android version 9, again, the latest and the greatest. Also, you get a very new kernel, 4.14, so you get the optimum of your gaming and battery life. And that's pretty much it for the OnePlus 7 Pro ROM. Now, how to install it? First of all, you have to just unlock your bootloader and then just hop onto your PC. Now, once you hop onto your PC, you have to just grab these five files. Yep, just these five files would actually turn your Redmi Note 7 Pro into OnePlus 7 Pro. Now, you have to also grab a OnePlus cable. Well, just kidding, you have to just grab your normal Type-C cable and plug it in your PC. Then just grab your phone and hit power and volume down at the same time, just like you did while unlocking the phone in order to go to the fast boot mode. Then just open this ADB folder, open CMD and type in fast boot flash recovery. Hit space and then just drag in this to up recovery right over here and hit enter. Now, if you face any kind of issue in this step, you have to just follow this I button over here. It will completely guide you through how to install a custom recovery. Then I can just hit power and volume up at the same time in order to go inside that to up. Let go when the Redmi logo shows up. As you can see, we are inside the to up recovery. Then you have to just go to wipe, format data, type in yes. This will actually completely just remove the encryption and wipe your internal storage. Cause it is actually necessary when you're coming through Android 9.0 Pi MIUI. Then again, you have to just go to your phone. As you can see, internal storage is completely mounted over here. And just extract the OnePlus 7 Pro zip that I've given in the description. You have to just copy it. This will take a bit of a time. Now, once everything has been copied, you have to just copy this patch S tab and VB meta. This will actually help in booting the GSI. Then again, you can also 
optionally install MIUI camera over here. Now the 48 MP mode just doesn't work over here. That would need some extra work. That would be coming in few days. So you can just literally install the MIUI camera and the Gcam at the same time in this room while having the OnePlus camera. So just again copy those two, swipe to unlock and just go to the wipe again and one swipe and now select Dalvi cache system vendor and data. No need of internal storage this time cause we have actually copied all the stuff. So swipe to wipe. There you go. Then you have to just go to install, install image, OnePlus 7 Pro, and then you have to just install these three files. So boot IMG first of all, so boot for boot, system IMG for system image, then vendor IMG for vendor image, swipe to flash. Once everything has been done, just go back to home again, go to install, and then just select the patch VB meta, add more zips if you want the MIUI camera too. So select angst camera, confirm to flash, once everything has been done, just reboot system, do not install and voila, you have successfully converted your Redmi Note 7 Pro into OnePlus 7 Pro. I don't know why it just feels fancy that both of these are 7 Pros. As you can see the OnePlus logo, now this first boot will take a bit of a time. And just in 1 to 2 minutes, our phone is finally back up. So if you now unlock the phone, as you can see, there is an internal problem with your device. Just ignore it, it's just bullshit cause we are using a OEM ported GSI. Just unlock your phone directly and there you go you have a complete OnePlus 7 Pro setup. Now, if you didn't already notice, the phone doesn't actually have a setup as this is a, again, ported OEM GSI. If you just keep a setup, as you can see, it will just keep on redoing itself. So you have to actually set up your phone. In order to do that, you have to download and latest version of the Google Play services because all of your Google related apps just won't work through off your phone. As you can see, the Chrome just goes to a blank screen. So let's get fixing. First of all, go to your file manager. Just ignore all of this stuff. Go to install packages, select your Gcam. There you go, install it, done, GMS, install it, done, ringer modes cause we don't have a physical alert slider, open it, request the permission, ringer modes, allow it, go back and voila, you have completely fixed your alert slider. So again, just go to the edit tiles and just drag the ringer modes right over here where you will usually have your normal presets. So for example, vibrate as you can see completely works. Then again, silent, normal, just completely works fine. Now, if you go to the apps, here you have the Gcam, allow, 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 just allow everything. There you go. You have a completely working Gcam right over here. And now in order to fix the setup and the face unlock, you have to just go to magics. You have to go to modules, add one right over here. Allow the permission. Google face unlock. There you go. Just completely flash it and hit reboot right over here. Again, the rebooting speed is just amazing over here. It does really boot like it's running an actual auction OS. There you go, the reboot just completely works unlike the Redmi Note 5 Pro which still has it broken. There you go, our phone has been booted. Now as you can see there are no notifications that means our G apps are now completely working. Now if you go to the Play Store, there you go, you can get an option to sign in. As you can see, preparing the setup. So we will just literally finish the setup right over here. So start, it will activate the Play Store on your phone. So do not copy. How to use fingerprint, just set up it right over here, adding a pattern. Just tap the fingerprint as you normally do in MIUI. As you can see, the setup just looks a bit funky cause OnePlus 7 Pro has an in-display one. So next, again, adjust the grips of it. Again, this really works just great. The speed of it is just amazing. Hit next, no thanks. And now our device should be completely set up. There you go. Play Store is now finally working. Now let's just enroll our face by going into the settings, security and lock screen. Just don't touch the face unlock right over here. It will disable the option. So go to the smart unlock. There you go, what is smart unlock, got it, trusted face, set up, next, as you can see, unlocked, there you go, trusted face attempting to use the front camera, okay, I know it, then let's try it again, as you can see, it's pretty fast, like it unlocks in a second, and yeah guys, that's pretty much it on how you can convert your Redmi Note 7 Pro into a complete OnePlus 7 Pro, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you found this helpful, please drop a like, if you want your Redmi Note 7 Pro to be running Android Q or anything, just follow these videos in my playlist, it will be a lot of help, and see you guys in the next one. Peace.